Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to question of the day. Today, we are given this question based on regression line. It says the two regression lines are given to you. And it also says that you are given um, the, the variance of the series X. It is asking you what is going to be the standard deviation of Y. This is what your question is asking. Okay, so in order to solve this question, what you can go ahead and do beta is you need to find BYX and BXY. That means you need to find the slope coefficients in the two cases, right? And so, so if I do that, I will get 8X minus 10Y is equal to 66. So one equation I must write down in terms of X and one I must write down in terms of Y. Ideally, this is what you should be doing. So if I go ahead and I solve this, I will get 10y is equal to 8x minus 66. y will be 8 by 10x minus 66 by 10. So y will be minus 6.6 6 plus 0.8x. So this becomes my slope coefficient. Now you must go ahead and solve the other equation. So it says 40x minus uh, 18y is 214. So, beta, you will get 40x is equal to 18y plus 214. So, you will get x is equal to 18 divided by 40y plus 214 divided by 40. So your x will become uh, 2 9s are, 2 20s are, y plus 214 by 40. This is x in terms of y. So this becomes when x is regressed on y. Now we know better that r square can be written as byx into bxy. Byx into bxy. So beta, this is byx. This is 8 by 10. That means 4 by 5. And this is 9 by 20. So what will I get? 8 by 10 into 9 by 20. So I will get the answer as, let's just solve this. 2 4s are, 2 10s are, 36 by 100. So 0 0.36. 0 0.36, right? Now, beta, there is another formula that we have that BYX can be written as R sigma y by sigma x. So byx kya tha? Byx was when y was regressed on x. So it was 4 by 5. So I can say that 4 by 5 will be what is r? Agar r square is 30.36. So r will be 0 0.36 under root. Right? r will be 0 0.36 under root. So beta this will be 0 0.6. So this sigma y upon beta sigma x variance of x is given as 9. So standard deviation of x will be root of 9. So root 9 will be 3. So sigma y will be 4 by 5 into 3 upon 0 0.6. Just solve this. You will get the answer as 4. So the answer to sigma y will be 4, right? It's a very good question for you to practice the concepts of regression. Okay. Okay, beta, now I will give you a question to practice on your own. Please practice this. So, um, let me give you a question from mean deviation. So, give me mean deviation. of the series A, A plus D, A plus 2D, and A plus 2 and 
D from its mean. Okay, so options are n plus 1 D upon 2n plus 1, n D upon 2n plus 1, n n plus 1 D upon 2n plus 1, and 2n plus 1 D upon n n plus 1. So you have to give me the mean deviation of this series, mean deviation from mean. Okay. Okay, beta. Thank you.